Well, uh, Jalapeno's won the first, and it's young Gareth who's going to come in and have a chat with me. Well done. Uh, I'm just looking at the draw as the last two times you drew terribly today, pole position. That's the game changer, Mr. Leff. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Won well. He's a nice source. Um, you know, he ran a good second to Robbie Hills, was Fool's Gold, in a class record time. And um, when we put him at Scottsville around the bend there, he just didn't function. He didn't enjoy the grass at Scottsville. Coming back to the poly, um, he was running on nicely from hopeless positions. And with the draw in hand today, we were able to have a little bit of confidence. Um, a big well done to Warren. He, you know, he persuaded him well to, to just uh, give that little bit extra and, um, and put his mind to work. He's got the ability. But um, the few issues that we've had to nurse him through as well. And credit to the horse for coming through it. They don't all, as you'd know, they don't all yeah. come through it. But he, he's um, knuckled down and, and put his heart into it. Um, but it's a, it's a great win for Vishal, for Kenneth. Ma Milo, Carmen, especially for Milo, um, who's just come out of um, theatre, had surgery, um, a speedy recovery to you. This is a family horse, and uh, it's wonderful racing with all of them and the families. Michelle is yet to have a few words as well. Well done to Fast Fontaine, though, a lovely uh, gelding. Any more runners? We've got uh, Candy Lu Galore and lovely Luca in the fifth, and um, you know we're hoping for the best. Candy Galore is a filly who probably on a day she can win a race like that, um, needs things to go away, and lovely Luca. What you see is what you get, so we're hoping to run into the money there too. Thanks, Phil. Thank you so much. Well done, Warren. I was just listening to Craig uh, Peters on the air, and you're saying that it's incredible how many times you win the first and the last. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Leff. Hopefully today it works out that way as well. Maybe one or two in between. <laughs> That's right. Uh, a good start. You know, I looked at the form and thought, oh, this is a bit short for its form, but uh, the money was proved to be correct. Yeah, look, he's been playing the last couple of rounds with really bad draws and, you know, he doesn't have gate speed, so forced to drop him out, Mr. Lefts, and, and he just doesn't make it up. He's very lethargic, and when I cantered him down, you could see very lethargical, so I trotted him all the way to the start, trotted him behind there, worked him up as best as I could, and he still came out a little bit sluggish with me and, and not really wanted to, to go on with it. After he goes about a furlong, then he comes to hand. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he needed a hard ride. He's a bit of a lazy bugger, but uh, it was a good win with the left stick. He... He's got his issues, he's got his problems in that, and, and Gareth's done a marvellous job of, of keeping him together and, and getting this race planned for him, and uh, well done to Michelle. Excellent. Well, we'll hope we'll see you again, but if Craig drives, it'll be the last race, definitely. Yeah, well, maybe definitely the last, but hopefully I can pick one or two up in between. Well done. Thanks, Les. Michelle, come and have a chat. Nice for the family. Yeah, well done. Uh, we say well done to Kenneth, uh, who's at home, uh, wishing his wife Milo a speedy recovery. Uh, well done to Gareth and Warren, and uh, to all my guys out here well done supporters supporters yeah. <laughs> well done eh all right we're going to do the winning groom now and uh, i've got james everett is coming from hollywood bets and we got safiso gueca well done safiso he looks after this for the groom's initiative thanks very much james and uh, that's the first race out of the way